So here we are being asked to order these fractions in ascending order. Ascending means smallest to largest. Descending means largest to smallest. So order these fractions from smallest to largest. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, the denominators of these fractions, the bases, are not the same. We cannot compare and order fractions unless the bases are the same. Now, so how do I make the denominators the same of these fractions? Well, look at the numbers here. 5, 3, 6 and 15. What is the lowest common multiple of these numbers? Well, clearly, if you know your times tables, the lowest common multiple of 5, 3, 6 and 15 is just 30. So all I need to do is just to convert each of the denominators into 30. Now, so let's start off with the first one. What do I need to multiply 5 by to make it into 30? Well, clearly I just need to multiply 5 by 6. So I multiply 5 by 6. Now, not only do you multiply the denominator, you must also multiply the numerator to keep the fraction consistent. So I multiply the numerator there by 6. Now we go to the second fraction. Now what do I need to multiply this fraction by? Well, the denominator here is 3. How do I make 3 to 30? I need to multiply this by 10. So I multiply this by 10, and I must do the same to the numerator again. Okay, now the next one, 6. Well, I need to multiply that one by 5. And we must do the same to the numerator as well. And the last one here, well, how do I make 50 into 30? I just need to multiply this one by 2. So I multiply the numerator and the, sorry, the denominator and the numerator by 2. So now we just work these out. So 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 5 is 30. So that's 18 over 30. So that's 18 over 30. And then the next one, 10 times 2 is 20. So that is 20 over 30. And the next one, 5 times 5 is 25, so that's 25 over 30. 2 times 8 is 16, and that's 16 over 30. Now that the bases are the same, we can compare these fractions. Well, which one is the smallest? Clearly, this one is the smallest, 16 over 30. So I will label that as number 1. Now, the next one is clearly this one here, 18 over 30. So I will label that number 2. And then the next one is this one here, 20 over 30. And I'll label that number 3. And the last one is number 4. So the smallest one is this one here, this fraction here. So if we are to now put these fractions in ascending order, smallest to largest, smallest is this one, so in ascending order it's 8, 15, 8 over 15, then it's this one here, 3 over 5, 3 fifths, and then it's this one here, 2 thirds, And the last one is 5 sixths, 5 over 6. And that's it, we're done. So the key thing here to remember is that in order to order fractions, in order to compare the fractions, you need to make the denominators, the bases, the same so that you can compare the fractions. And the way you make the denominators the same is to find find out work out what is the lowest common multiple and then just multiply the denominators to make each of them into the lowest common multiple so here we are being asked to put these numbers in descending order descending order means from largest to smallest now as you can see here we have two improper fractions 
and one of them is a mixed number. Now, as I told you earlier, in order to compare fractions, you need the denominators to be the same. So if one of the values is a mixed number, I can just convert this into an improper fraction. How do I convert this into an improper fraction? All I need to do, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, so that this fraction here will be 9 over 4. So that's 9 over 4. Now, as you can see here, the bases, the denominators of these improper fractions are not the same. So we need to make the bases the same, the denominators the same. Now, what is the lowest common multiple of 3, 4 and 2? And, and once again, if you know your times tables, clearly the lowest common multiple of 3, 4 and 2 is just 12. So all I need to do, I need to make each of these de each of these denominators into 12. How do I make 3 to 12? I need to multiply it by 4. And I must multiply the numerator as well to keep the fraction consistent. How do I make 4 to 12? I need to multiply that by 3. And I do the same to the numerator to keep the fraction consistent. How do I make 2 to 12? I need to multiply it by 6. And I do the same to the numerator. Now this fraction here now becomes 4 times 7 is 28. So that this becomes 28 over 12. This fraction becomes 3 times 9 is 27, so that's 27 over 12. And the last one here, 6 times 5 is 30, so that's 30 over 12. Now that the bases are the same, I can easily just compare the fractions and see which one is smaller and which one is larger. Well, clearly, the largest fraction here is this one here, because the numerator is the largest. The second largest is this one, and the smallest is this one. So, in descending order, if I want to place the fractions in descending order, well, um, if I just number them, it's a lot easier. So, this fraction here is the smallest then it's this one, then this is the largest. So if I put these fractions in descending order from largest to smallest, well, this is the largest, 5 halves, or 5 over 2, so 5 over 2 is the largest, and then it's this one here, which is 7 thirds, and then the smallest is this one here, which is two and one quarter. And that's it where we are done. We have ordered these numbers in descending order.